Right, it's quarter one, a third of August, 2023, and I've got a new camera. And the gizmo, a remote. So I've got it all set up, so this is all practice again, and I haven't got the iPhone going at the same time. I'll, I'll probably do two eventually. So I'm going to do um, a bit of actual quilting to see about getting close-ups of the work by the, on the needle bed. So the quilt I'm doing is a rail fence and it was a free pattern from Missouri Star Quilts website, uh, YouTube. So I use, I bought a jelly roll of Batik's and that's what I've made. Obviously, the back is plain yellow, and I thought I'm going to give myself a nightmare here. If you want to do circles, don't do a jaggy line. It was shown there. I'm going to use Horifil with the camera right in front of you. Um, I'm saying that I'm not sponsored or anything, so I'm just starting out on this line i'm not even interested in, really interested in that but um i'm just using that because i like the variegated and that so i bought two to make sure i have enough one's in the machine I haven't threaded it up yet but i'm not using it on the back because that's quite expensive that so um compared to just plain polyester so i've got this yellow i'm hoping i've got enough i haven't got two of the same color anywhere on my collection there. I usually do buy two, of course you use one, you're only left with one. But we'll see how we go, because it is the back, and I could, I've got the number, I can always go and get another um, reel somewhere online, or I'll look at the local shop first, but they, you know. Yeah, we'll go down that. That's just polyester. So the first thing I'm gonna do, is practice because I was doing something else on the machine. I was actually quilting last night. Um, I'm going to um, have a wee practice first to so make sure the tensions are okay. I've actually got a um, I've got a little bit of yellow in the in the bobbin, so I'll use that first. I'll thread up another bob bobbin and for the back of the quilt. And then I'll get the camera closer up to the um, actual sewing, sewing machine and see what happens. Right. <laughs> Let's see if this works. <laughs> oh, dear, so much. So much when you're just sewing, you know. But I want to see people to see, again, what I do with my time. My enjoyments in life. Okay, I've threaded up the bobbin, so I've got a spare one, let's say I've only got half or something in, in the machine, and I did only have a little bit left, I'm not too worried, I'll get another one down the shop, and I'm going to thread the, I think that the, the old floor again, Right, let's turn you around now. Let me see what we can do here. Yeah, just to give an idea. Right, let's pull it out again. Ring thread. In there, in there, and it's got an automatic needle threader. The needle threader, which is Wonderful, isn't it? Nowadays, most machines do have that nowadays. I don't have a foot up, foot down function on this machine, but I'm not worried. So, and I've got to change a foot now because I'm doing free motion. Two. Um, a quilting foot, embroidery foot, or darning foot, it's even called at times. Now, I had one, can you see the circle there? Bifocals. See the circle? I had one with a complete circle in it. 
And I did buy it new with this machine because this machine is high shank. All the other machines I've had are low shank, so it would be down there a little bit. But since I've had this, it's been wonderful. I bought this from Genome, and I'm pretty sure I must have bought the original one from Genome. I can't remember. But I don't know. I, I, it might have been just Amazon. I thought I found a high shank that would do it would be a bit cheaper. But I bought this one from Genome. And it's been wonderful. Yeah, really pleased. Unless I got better. <laughs> it could be that. You know, coincidences of life. But yeah, it's been wonderful. Yeah. So we'll change that. I've got a cold reach button here at the moment. I was doing a binding last night on a quilt. Just a second. A wall hanging one thing. Biggest wall hanging. I hope the hand sounds okay as well. Um, I'll soon find out. Make sure your feet dogs put down. It's the little things that put your sewing straight through, but because we're moving it side to side all over the place, we don't want that. And another thing that I've started to use, see, I'm just, all the learning process, hold two ticks. Is this su Supreme Slider. Again, I'm not getting sponsored, I say, I just bought it and uh, I was using it last night. This backing on this quilt is pretty, it's polycon. It's pretty shiny on that as well, but I thought I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna use this. I bought it, use it. Sitting on a peg in the wall. So you just put the hole into the it's supposed to trim up the excess, but um I sort of tell you, but I haven't. I haven't I'm not sure I've got it in over the hole. Press down and it sort of sticks down and if it gets uh, dirty and that you can wash it you know the, the, my rock bracelets will probably dry me up the wall I'm not taking them off though no way am i taking my bracelets off they're all treasures to me yeah so that's it so we'll be a good girl and we will practice there used to be one that would just dive in I know it all. I can do this. Dive in. But in my old age, take your time, Bill. Do it properly. I got told off the other day at quilting group, sort of. I said to um, somebody called Anne, I said, I didn't know you could do that stitch on that. She said, yeah, did you read the instructions? Well, yeah, well sort of. <laughs> did, you know, quick glance through it. Then I can, no, so it doesn't always work. Right. So, um, gloves. You need your gloves to give you a better grip on your fabric. I'm going to ruin out the way, chuck it in the bed. Too much stuff, isn't it? Too much stuff. Packaging, slider, shape. Bobbing cases out the way. Yeah. Right, let's have a see. So I'm gonna put the stitches up to two point eight. I have got my pressure foot up one as well, but um as the the, the embroidery foot or quilter's foot doesn't even touch, it just sits on the skims the top of your quilt, it's not it's not pushing down or you don't need less pressure because it's not actually physically on the fabric. But and again, I, I I don't go don't go on courses and stuff like that. Or I haven't been. I've been one or two, but um, um, I've been pretty isolated. One thing and another. So um, I've had to do a lot of this on my own. And of course, YouTube's there now. You know, I'm using that, that a lot more to to get help. So that's what I'm hoping that I can help others. Not an expert, as I say. I specifically say, no, I am I an expert. You know, you'll probably say, Bill, should introduce myself, Bill. Um, 
it might be better to do that. And if you do, put it in the comments. I, I'm, I'm grateful for any help, any help that will make things life easier and more encouraging and um, learning. I love learning. We're always learning. So, we'll stick that out the back there. God, I've got quite a long thread there. But anyway, let's see how we go. How fast am I? Oh, put a bobbin in so I'm full speed. And so I'm just going to practice a bit here. Um, actually, I'm going to stop you and put you a bit nearer now. That's what I'm going to do. See, too many things going through my brain. Hold on a minute. Looks pretty good from my end. Um, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Put the old gloves. I've done a, a few panels down the way, and I couldn't record it. And I sort of gave up. I got tired, and so what time is it? Quarter past three on the fourth of August. 2023, so just the next day, I had to go and buy cotton's thread, as I said to you yesterday. You'll be watching it straight after each other, but old day's gone by. Old day, not quilting. Right, so I've done a couple of bobbins, stitches are okay, my speed hopefully is okay, and we'll see what we can do. Put the threads in just to keep it going. Alright, let's see what speed we're at. Go a bit slow on that to start with. Just ease into it. Looking good. I've got a bit caught up here. Not very organised at the moment. I'm just going to do this panel down here. I'll just do a bit to let you see what I'm doing and then I'll get on with it. Not bore you. I know you can fast forward this thing as well, you know. Um, I might do that, I don't know. Just keep doing oh, yeah. A bit of a jaggy bit there. A bit of pointy bit, I mean. I lived in Scotland for 30 years, I've still got to use some of their words. Down in the south of England now. Not too fast, one or two big stitches. Actually it's looking very good, I can't see the bobbin, that's good. I was starting to see that yesterday, that was annoying me. Bobbin thread coming up. Lovely, it's lovely doing this first panel like this because it moves so easy. More control. I'm going to stop there and needle down. So I went along the road. And a great debate about what threads to use, what size reels. I picked up a couple of fat quarters which I didn't want to do. But then the owner of the shop said to me, we've got some going a bit cheaper. There is. I didn't come here for fabric. So I looked at it. Oh, God, that, says it. That, that one would do the back of one I've got waiting. So I put the fat quarters back and bought three metres of it. And of course, then. Hold on a minute. It's looking a bit loose. It's looking very loose. Not happy with that. Um, what have we done? What have we done? Hold on. No, that's not right. Let me undo that. So, of course, I had to buy the thread to go with the backing. That looks a little bit. Oh, look, 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 look. See, so didn't check me. Look. 
complete mess. Absolute. <laughs> Teach me. Didn't do a test bit, did I? See? Good attention. Well, I'm going to have to sit and undo this now. It'll be easy done. It's so loose. It's just a couple of kicks and pull it out. So, we'll pause this for a minute. Okay, I've undone that. And I'm going to leave it in to show you that we all make mistakes. We all make boo-boos. And I should have... You get to recognise the sound of your machine. But, um, yeah, I didn't take any notice. It's got some running, stitching things. You know, needle marks on it. But that's all right. We're not worrying about it. So, what I'm going to do, right, it's the same thread, I didn't even change the bobbin last, from last night to this morning. So I'm going to take it out and re-thread it. And it's always worth, I've got another big reel of, oh, I don't know, big reel of yellow that I bought and another stand. I'm just going to take it off. Still be getting in the way, etc. I'm going to take the top thread out and redo it again. It's just worth doing the two. I don't think, oh, it's the bobbin. I'll just leave it at that. I know when I was learning a machine um, just a few years ago, you know. That's what I've done. I just changed the bobbin or everything. That was it. It's two seconds of your life, you know. Let's thread it up. Thread it my, <laughs> my bracelet's rattling. I'm not taking them off. I'm not taking them off. My treasures. See, you've done it. Practice bit. Now, um, yeah, I didn't change anything else. I've changed the size of my stitch up to 2.8, which is what I always do. Put the other little gloves on. And keep your fingers crossed. And we can do this, okay. Couple in the silent. Need to do a little bit so I can check the back. back. Right. It sounds better and it looks better. Yeah, that's all good. Hey, you can kick yourself at times. So, yeah, you know, two seconds to check but i never remember see i just thought i'll go for it don't we all i know it all i'm perfect i'm gonna get that there because that's looking a bit hold on a minute i think it's tangled up a bit i'm gonna do it again yeah any doubt do it again a lot of pain. That's what I'm telling myself. Okay. Put it in there. Thread at the back. Put that down. There we go. There we go. Gloves again. And again, it's just a wandering pattern I'm doing on this main part of the quilt. Now, I've said that before, it looked better, didn't it? It looks okay. And it wasn't. Just double check. It's a bit 
have to see the book. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Off we go. And a circle, meet the previous. Like loops. Make them small so they don't look regimental. Big. Make them sideways. Just going up to this seam here. I'm coming back down now over the cream. I'm going to stop there. Put that down a bit, curl it up, curl it around, fold it over. I don't want to get this on my lap as well. Get yourself all comfortable as you can. Um, and see, that's that's getting stuck. So I'm just going to lift it a little bit. As long as I can move that around, we we'll worry about this. As long as I can move that around, we're okay. I want to push that as far as I can. To the place I'm going to work. I'm going to have to stop halfway through over here anyway, but you like to go as far as you can in one go, don't you? Uh, no, I wasn't very good. It's okay, but it's not as smooth as I'd like. I'm going to turn that up just a touch. Go as fast and as slow as you want, but move your quilt equivalent to it, so that's what we call I can feel that. It's not a race. I used to go a lot slower than this, have more control. And I'm not the fastest by any means. And it's practice, isn't it? Practice. Down. I'm lucky I've had a couple of charity quilts or something and uh, a couple of my own that's on, uh, that I can practice on. I know it's not too bad but it's um, people were okay with it, me doing the charity one so that was it. And I said practice, you don't need it. Yes I do, yes I do. I want to do feathers my ambition. I haven't got the confidence yet. Even with drawing lines I haven't got confidence I've done it. But again this is so much better than I've done before. I feel more confident. There, sideways, sideways, I'll say sideways. That's the way I speak. <laughs> oh, so I said, What's she on about? Sideways. Some can be small, some can be big. I did notice, like, in some I made more. Um, Space in between. It must have been a different half an hour that I've done it in the back, but it's fine. It's fine. It's not going in the show. It's for me. My own pleasure. I'm loving it. 
But a year ago, I couldn't do this with as much confidence. Eh? Don't say that. There you go. Pear straight. We'll have a little we'll check that out. Because you open your mouth here and go wrong. It's lovely. Yeah. So, what do I do now? Keep chatting. I can do that okay. I don't need practice for that. I'm loving the YouTube thing. I've got a motor quilt up and I've had a pretty good number for views for a practically a first video. I've got some other little bits up. A lot of work to do. But we'll get there. I made myself a, I've got my own personal Facebook page, but I made a Facebook page as well for Busy Bee Quilter. So I could get all the quilts I made, or most of them on there, so people can browse if they want to. Put, put that into Facebook and you'll find me. I only done it. Middle of the night, told you I'm about to sleep, but suddenly three or four o'clock this morning. I thought that's what I'll do. Just fell asleep in the chair before I'd done this, old lady. <laughs> that's sleep now. Combination. So um suffered a lot with mental health and this is really inspiring me and I hope it gives you pleasure as well if you haven't quilted or a bit feared be scared of um, actual machine quilting It gives you a little bit of inspiration because I wasn't as good at this a year ago. I've done a little bit over the years, but nothing to write home about. Do it, leave it alone for a year. But I've had a great year of learning this. I'm just going to finish this part of the panel. Oh, God, my stop. Got caught up here. this part of the panel and then switch it off. Not that you'll be off because I've attached the next bit to it. But I should do the whole top over the next few hours, days, couple of days. That day. Because I'm inspired now. <laughs> I'll have an hour and then go and make a cup of tea. Um, and I'll come back to it. Because I want to show you it all. Or show you all it. I want to do the boulders next. Still thinking about that. What to do. No, it's not going to be feathers. No, it's going to be feathers, I don't think yet. Are you going to put it in the comments for me? Feathers, Berenice? Feathers, Bill? Can you stop now? Can we go sideways? Yeah, I said sideways. Come back on yourself. You can have small loops. There we go. Completely different shape. So I'll take a little video of the whole top, the middle set, not the boulders, the whole top um, middle section when it's done.
11 o'clock at night. I'm checking the clock. I finished the whole top of the boulders. Let's see if you can see it. I can't see now, oh dear. I can't see very well myself. Uh, camera, in front of the camera, Bill. Okay. Pretty pleased with that. Let's have a look at the back. Let's have a look at the back and see what's going on here. There's a cotton laying around. Hold on. Just a plain yellow. So, I did say earlier, let's get in front of the camera, eh? Sit down. Late at night, old lady. I did say earlier about put in the comments about a border I'm letting myself into trouble here aren't I and I'm sorry getting comfy and um, yeah what do you think do you think I should just do a little wiggle a little circle or should I go on don't say I've got to do feathers yeah deep breath that's anxiety so it is yeah, thinking about it. I should be dreaming about this tonight. But I wanted to get, I've got the other clips together. And um, I'm going to put this one on the end. And I post it. I have no intro banner. Uh, yeah, beginning banner or an end banner yet. I've looked for free ones. I can make one in Photoshop. But it's the size, I want a bit of animation, you know, I just wanted to say what it is, and then I want to change the words for each quilt that I do, so it's a lot of thinking process and that, so forgive me for the pretty basic stuff, but if you stick with me, you'll see the improvement I hope, so um, yeah, it's all a learning curve isn't it, you know, I do know a bit about Photoshop, but it's a long time since I've touched it as you know seriously since my husband passed away about 17 years ago really so um, yeah nearly starting again um, but I'll, I'll, I'll do it I can be determined in life and uh, get it done so um, a bit of encouragement from you especially about the borders I don't know what to do. Um, yeah, because if I do feathers, I'll have to draw the pattern on. I use a, a, an iron away pen. And um, that'll take a bit of time. But um, And of course, I'll have to practice. I'll, I'll make a bigger sheet. I might even do that, make the practice sheet. And show you how I bumble along. Do it wrong. I think it's good to see videos that are, are natural. The mistakes as well. I've watched a couple of people that I know that I'll mention later on when I get a bit better. And I've watched their process of getting better and better at YouTube. You know, they started with an iPhone and they've gone better and got a better camera and then they've got lights and all this. I had to sit here because if I sat over there, I was all in shadow, you know. I've got my, I did put a daylight bulb in this uh, in bedroom ceiling, got a lamp on and I've still got my much sewing machine on so it gives a bit. But one step at a time, one step at a time, I know I repeat myself as well, I just, I didn't realise how much I do it. Um, so I started videoing myself and um, talking to my son actually, you know, I thought, what am I doing, stop repeating yourself. Well, 67 year old, I'm not going to change. So, I hope you like it. I hope you like the video. As they say, give it a thumbs up. And I just want to know that you like it. You know, or a little comment to encourage me. Um, I'm not worried about subscriptions and, and money and all that. That's not my interest. I just want to leave something behind. You know, let people know what I'm doing. 
Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it very much. It's doing my ego really good by seeing the views on my motor quilt. And I'm hoping to get a few for this one. And I'll be back at this. Back at this boulder. When we decide what I'm going to do. Okay then. Bye for now. I've lost my remote. I've lost my remote. Lost my gizmo. Here it is.